Welcome to episode 61 of Teen Mom Trash Talk. Ooh. I'm comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host Noel Winters. Hi. And Gabrielle Fergala. I almost just said hi when she <laughs> said Noel Winters. I know. We never know who she's going to switch I never switch know. She always switches it up on I us. know. I like to switch it up because I like to not play favorites. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want you guys to think like... Even though I'm your favorite. Exactly. I was just going to say even though I'm the favorite. It's so <laughs> you funny. see what I mean, guys? Right. You see what I mean? I'm creating monsters here. <laughs> I just want to start off today's episode by thanking every single person that listens to this podcast. You guys have really changed our lives. Yes. Agreed. Yes. You know, you have made two people that have no fans just make you made them feel really special. Oh, I wonder you who and she's Gabrielle? talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we all thought the same thing. That's really funny. Uh, no, it's true. I love this podcast. This podcast gives me something that gives me purpose. I've said that all the time. Yeah, it's, it's something really to look true. forward to. It's a really to. great thing to do. We it's built such stability. A, yes, and, and we, I love like all our friends that we made from we it. We built such a great fan base. We've built we we've built a community. Uh, and if you guys want to join the community, we're over on Facebook at Tracy's Teen Mom Trash Talk Podcast Discussion Group, and we just have the best time. So you know how like when somebody gets an award, like Nicki Minaj, let's say. At a, what award is she getting? I don't know. The biggest award is butt. she getting? Um, <laughs> okay. And she's like, oh, I just want to thank the fans. I have the best yeah. fans. And you're always like, oh, please. Like, everyone thinks they have the best right. fans. Like, we really have, we the, have best the best fans. fans. Yeah, we, we have the do. Best fans. We have better fans than Nicki Minaj. Someone 100%. DM'd me today and asked, was Tracy being serious when she said Janelle was intelligent? Yeah. Yeah, of course no, she, she was. was. She was no, really she smart. was intelligent. Yeah. yeah. She was. I was being very, very serious. I just wanted you to clarify. Speaking Thank you so much, Janelle. Well, we're gonna we're gonna be doing because there was no episode this week. We're gonna be recapping uh, Janelle and Chelsea's sixteen and pregnant. Right before we do that, I just want to let you guys know we have a bonus podcast, and it's called BS Not Team Mom Related, and we talk about our personal lives on there. We also have another bonus podcast that is uh, a recap of TLC's Unexpected, which is a really fun show on TLC. It's uh, a documentary. Uh, you know about teen pregnancy mm-hmm. so go check that out you could find this on patreon p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com forward slash teen mom trash talk and you could sign up there for a bonus podcast you could sign up there at different levels we have stickers for sale um, and also if you want a sticker for free you could join our five dollar level and i'll send you a sticker if you want to purchase a sticker you could uh, just, you know, send me $3 at Venmo at Tracy dot dash Carnazzo $3 and I will send you a sticker. Put your address in the notes. Uh, and if you want to check everything out, uh, I'll just put it out there right now on Instagram at Teen Mom Trash Talk on Twitter, Teen Mom Podcast, uh, Snapchat, TM Trash Talk and, you know, Facebook. Go and find us. Holla. So guys, now that we have that Holla out of the way, uh, Let's talk about Janelle's 16 and Pregnant episode. It is season two, episode one. North Carolina beach bunny who loves partying realizes her long distance boyfriend isn't coming back and that she's too immature to raise a baby herself. That's hilarious. That is the best description of Joelle. That Uh, is. uh, Wow. Janelle. (laughs) That was not nice. (laughs) I love you, Joelle, if you're listening. That's my best friend. She just texted me. That's why I. Yeah, that's why. I had Joelle. Mm -hmm. Joelle, she doesn't think that you could raise your baby. (laughs) just saying uh so janelle's boyfriend is andrew which we don't see much of anymore no but we have to be reminded a lot of this stuff reminds us also isn't andrew supposed to come back next season That's i can't what wait saying i can't I, wait I, I know. I, I, it's giving me life oh that's gonna be so fucking funny i cannot wait uh he grabbed her and kissed her the first time he met mm-hmm. her did not speak to her he basically raped her in the face i was gonna right. say if somebody did that to me the first that's time they assault. saw me i would kick them in the balls that's a sexual assault my, my favorite is i had two apartments in new york okay so he is a retired model mm-hmm. meanwhile he's, he's what is he 21 and what is he he's how a baby man he? like five foot eight it didn't even no, say he, how was old he was older than her like she She's was 16, 16 and he's like 18 he met her when she was no 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 she was like 14 and he was like 19 or that's something disgusting. it was like weird so yeah. he's already a retired model uh-huh he had two apartments in new york city he's like listen babe yeah i had the cause i had the money i had two apartments in new york city i had the career now i'm just taking it easy you know what he is he's a bean shooting flapper is what we like oh. to say in new york yep that is a true story uh-huh. 
He's a bean shooting flapper uh-huh. and she is eating it up like every little girl would. Not me. I was never that little girl. Yeah. But she's eating that shit up. So Janelle kept her pregnancy a secret for quite a while. Shocked. And then Babs walked found her in, in the bathtub, walked in on her in the bathtub and said, Janelle, you're pregnant. Yeah. I would have loved Babs to be a fly so on the young. Wall. She did. Babs looked I young. I mean, she's aged considerably. I mean, she's raising a child. She still has the same haircut, though. Same everything. Yeah. Uh, Janelle has the Monroe piercing on her lip Ugh, yeah. with the spike in it. Uh huh. It's like so. It's funny. so aggressive. No, it's you know so what's aggressive? aggressive? The eyebrows, the frown. Oh god, frown. it's all it's terrifying. So the the thing that surprised me most about wa- rewatching this was that Janelle used to have friends. Her friends, Lauren and Amber, were actually like seemed like and good she people. She was a little bit friends with them later on too, but not, not they didn't really. last. But you did see the junk box Tori. Oh, Ugh. you sure did. She looked different from like the first clip of her, like on the couch on the laptop, and then she looked like yes, completely yes. different. She totally changed her whole She life. got like yes. seven hundred piercings yes. in her face and I was like, what the she, fuck? She like happened? went to the mall and she went to Hot Topic and did not come out until she was done. <laughs> it was so weird. That's funny. <laughs> but I, I did you notice that? I of yeah, course I did. Of course. I was like, who is that Tori? Right? Like, like the dark princess yeah. Tori. <laughs> Weird. It was so weird. That was funny. Yeah, like, is this Halloween? Uh, Janelle plans to go to online college. Very nice. Uh, she loves surfing. And she goes to the beach with all of her friends. Mm-hmm. And some of her friends are telling her, one of her friends is saying, like, you know, I had a cousin who was pregnant, but she didn't, like, really take it as good as you. Like, she still went out partying. And she still went out drinking when she was pregnant. And Janelle said, I'll party, but I won't drink. Right. she's such a good mom. Right. That was, like, Janelle... That's Are you trying to get an award? award? Mm-hmm. You're going to win mother of the year. She what do you is. mean? You're pregnant and you won't even drink because you're a good mom. Mm-hmm. That's so nice. She said that um, when her friends go out, she's going to stay home and watch movies with the baby. Oh, yeah. That definitely happened. She's like, yeah, that's and what when I'm going to do. I'm going to have him at the beach all the time. Yeah, like when he gets older, though. Yeah. He's going to love the older. beach. When he gets older. Mm-hmm. When he when he's 18. Meanwhile, when was the last time she was at the beach? But she was such... With Andrew, she was such a beach lover. She loved the beach. Uh-huh. She can't serve. Now she, she lives in down. the middle of the fucking woods, the opposite of where the beach is. Yes, yeah, seriously. Andrew's coming over, guys. Mm-hmm. So he lives four, four hours, hours away. away. And his dad has to drive and him. And his dad has to drive him. Barney's got to drive him uh-huh. the whole way. Barney has no emotion. Barney has nothing. He stands there. The uh-huh. whole, I'm going to do impressions of Barney. Go ahead. Uh, Me being Barney. Hi, Barney. Being Barney. Hi, Barney. Barney, this isn't a hotel. This isn't a Holiday Inn. Andrew can't just stay here for a week and use all my water. I don't want your son having sex with my daughter in her bedroom. I don't care if she's Mom, pregnant. what else could happen? I'm already pregnant. Oh, sorry. I was Newsflash, <laughs> Mom. Nothing else bad could happen. <laughs> Barney? Did I, do, did I do good? Yeah. Barney. That was a good Barney. Mate. See, I guess maybe Barney is Michaela's dad. <laughs> I was going to say, Ma- is Barney Michaela's Barney dad? Barney is Michaela's real dad from Unexpected. So check that out on CLC. Um... I remember Mike. I missed him. Babs' boyfriend, Mike. I know. Mike was awesome. He yeah. was. He was really, what really What happened cool. to him? They broke up? They broke yeah. up. Now, let me just tell you, uh, Mike was saying that, like, you know, Andrew really has to support the baby. Mm-hmm. And she said, listen, he can't support me financially, but he could support me mentally. Right. I think she meant emotionally. Okay. Right. I think she might have, but also, <laughs> I don't think anyone has ever supported Janelle <laughs> mentally, and I think that's the problem. That's, that's the, the problem. problem. Yeah. So Andrew came when Babs was at work Mm -hmm. and he said, I'm basically going to be Mr. Mom. Right. He stealthily avoided her all weekend. Yeah, he did. He avoided Mm -hmm. her all weekend, but now he's going to be Mr. Mom. He's I'm going to be the best father ever. He instead. We never saw him again. Never. I mean, even in this description, can you pull up that description from the basement? It's funny. We really don't ever see him again. He he left the hospital and he was gone. No, no, that was it. There was one time where he like Skyped with Jason. Uh She realized. I remember what he said. I love you guys to bad. And then they clicked. Uh, and Babs is like, he loves, he loves right? Yeah. <laughs> she Janelle realizes her long distance boyfriend isn't coming back. How final and depressing wow. is that? Like he literally went home and he just never, never came, came back. back. Wow. And he's like, okay, I'll see you. I'm going to stay up all night long because anyway. Uh, mm-hmm. So he wants to know how many people are going to be in the emergency room when she gets birth. I mean, there's really no way to tell how packed the emergency right. room is going to be. It doesn't when work you give that birth. way. Um, I mean, I know who's going to be in the delivery room, mm-hmm. but like in the emergency room, I mean, it depends on Could really be what's gunshot happening. Gunshot, <laughs> Could be a lot of things. Right. So they're burning hot dogs together like a happy couple uh-huh. while romantic. Babs is out. What a romantic, beautiful couple! Now let's explain how Janelle got pregnant. 
Okay. Okay. So can I can I help you? I would love you to do it. Just do it. I want to watch. Floor. Okay. Um. So so me and Andrew, we was dating. We're having sex. Then we broke up for like a day or two. Right. And of course, I stopped taking the birth control pill. Mm-hmm. But then we got back together, and here I am. I'm pregnant. Right. But then, uh, you didn't think you were gonna get pregnant. Well, no, because we've had sex lots of time without anything, and I just figured it was going to be the same thing. But I so was you thought wrong. you could never have a baby ever. Yes. Okay. The world would have been a much better logical. place. Logical. <laughs> that was me, not as Janelle. But that the world would have yeah, been a much true. better place if she. Could. Um. Now, something sad about this episode. Mm-hmm. We find out that Andrew is overqualified for McDonald's. Okay. Okay. And also that the economy sucks from the depression, and he cannot get okay. A, a dog. The great dep- Andrew used to be a stock stockbroker. And he got laid off. (laughs) But was he talking about the Great Depression or the recession? Because the depression is much different (laughs) than the recession. Honestly, Andrew has not been able to get a job since 1929. I just, I was just wondering. I have a friend Uh who I will not name names. Okay, I'm going to guess who it is. Um, is been applying for a lot of jobs Uh lately. I already know. They say this. Yeah. And then this person says oh this place called me back to tell me they weren't hiring me because i was overqualified right and then a couple of weeks later it was like would you believe that this other place would you believe that called me back? just because i graduated eighth grade <laughs> they, they wouldn't want hire me? me this other place called me back to tell me i was overqualified they said i was too pretty right when I went to go to apply to a job in person, they were like, I'm sorry, you are stunningly beautiful. Go home and lay down. And I was like, okay. You don't need to work. Yeah. I was like, I get it. I'm going to be a retired model. Just a side note. Uh, my friend applied for a job and she was asked. It was a receptionist position. Mm-hmm. You remember this? I sure do. And she was asked. He's like, okay, I'm going to set up the interview. He's like, but can you send me a picture of yourself? Oh, and oh, let me yeah. tell you something. I applied to the same job and spoke yeah. to this man on the phone, and I schooled him. It was Captain Bob's, yep. like, like, he was marriage like a, he was cruise. the captain of a ship. Right. And he told me that I would also have to work on the ship sometimes, and I hung up on him. I was like, oh, my God, I got to go. My, yep. mom, will, my he, mom will love me. He, my mom will love me. And he asked you for, a sel- for, like, a selfie. Yeah, he's like, can you send me a photo of yourself? She's like, oh, I sent it to him. I'm like, why then, would you do that? And then he told me that I was beautiful. But I've had a lot of people online. tell me to do that, applying for jobs. It depends on what kind of job. If it's a bartending position yeah. or a waitressing position, that's different. They are looking for, like, a headshot. Yep. Um, this was he, a receptionist. This was not. This was a, someone in his house. Yeah, his home And office. that was a different story. He was going to uh, make you. Okay. So that works out. <laughs> um... Andrew says, and this is a quote, mm-hmm. we are never going to split up. Right. Until, until next week. Now, can we just go back to something? Okay. Why do you have two apartments in New York City? The, okay. I thought about that so much. How many apartments do you need? Um, I don't know. Maybe he just outgrew one. I don't know. But he had two at the same time or two? He was know. overqualified for the first Maybe one. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uptown and downtown i don't know i gotta figure this out i feel like we need to get andrew uh on the line oh i want to get him for yeah, I, I wish uh so now barney comes to pick up andrew right and like you were saying nothing else worse can happen mom uh, nothing else worse can happen she's pregnant she's i mean pregnant. honestly janelle's not wrong yeah, but here she but it's also wrong. babs's house thing. no I thought that the foreshadowing in this was a beautifully written story. <laughs> oh. Nothing else worse can happen. Oh, but it can oh. oh, honey, just wait. Oh, just you wait. Just wait. Just wait. This is the best time of your life. It's you true. Are, you peaked at 16 and it's pregnant. It's so true, it's though. True. It is so I forgot she used to be so here. blonde. I forgot. So, I oh, forgot God. That yeah. Her belly button ring is terrifying. Oh, oh yeah, my God, I think you're supposed I to take that out when you get pregnant. No, that's uh, a pregnancy uh, belly button ring. So that's... That's so that the hole stays open. I don't like what? it. I don't like that. So Babs has a, a bridal shower for her. They get mm-hmm. some a baby cake shower. For, a baby shower. Sorry, they got two sheet. Cakes. They got two sheet cakes. Like you would have thought, who was coming to the? Well, show. she gets I a Walmart discount. Dove into that sheet cake. Oh, she does get a Walmart. Walmart discount. I hope it's from yeah. BJ's though, because they are really good. No, that was okay. From BJ's has the best sheet cake. It does. I actually gross. really like BJ's cake. Yeah, no, so do I. It's not delicious. even lying. It's delicious. The chocolate. I have this no ring right here. Gabrielle and Noelle are trash bags. Oh man, but no, how good is the cream? It's so oh. good. Thank it's you, Tracy. Gabrielle. Don't knock it till you try it. Hey, yes. Noelle, how'd you like your cake on Sunday that I brought to Rosh Hashanah? Uh, yeah, I finished it this morning. You're a fucking pig. Yeah, oh my I God, did. what I was it? The strawberry one? Strawberry yeah. cake. <gasps> 
finished it this morning. She got it enough for like, it was supposed to be for what, like 18 people? 16 to 20 people. And there was like five of they us. They were like, all right, you can have a cake for eight to 12. With, and there was five of us. Right. I was like, what's the bigger one? Uh-huh. They were like 16 to 20. I'm like, yes, that's the one that I need. Okay, yeah. so I missed brisket. Yeah. I missed matzo balls. You could have came over. And I missed no, Why? You yeah. should come over for Passover. It's fun. Can I bring challah bread? Not yeah. for Passover. Oh, no, you not cannot. for Passover. You can't. Oh, bread, why? No, no bread. Carbs. Okay, they I'm not the, coming for Passover. I miss the best holiday. They do, they do the keto uh, diet for I miss the best for holiday. Passover. No, but they and make brisket. And I have to wait till next they make Rosh Hashanah. Brisket. No, listen, they make brisket. They make pretend Okay, barley. but Hanukkah, you get potato pancakes. What? Oh, you do. And you know what? Oh. Mad Sad makes pancakes, uh, potato pancakes, and knishes, too. <gasps> I love knishes. Yeah. Okay, let's get back on track. Yeah. I just got really excited. I know. Okay, I'm very hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Her friends, Janelle's friends, are so country bumpkin. Yeah, they are. Like, they are. A lot of people are from the south and like even leah is like from the deep south and everything. i know but it's north carolina you but know what do you mean though West i Virginia just feel like that i feel like it's not like alabama right you and know they, but they talk like i they're know from there. they have very very country they accents. Do. uh so we find out andrew's an alcoholic uh-huh Shocking. i'm shocked what do you think he did with those two apartments he looks like a raccoon yeah he does so those two apartments he sold them for cocaine for <laughs> beer uh-huh janelle's water breaks uh-huh. She's in labor for 12 hours. Andrew suddenly appears, uh-huh. right? Uh, With the luggage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Lauren and Amber come to see the baby. And she's breastfeeding. And she goes, Ma, did you bring my lip ring? Please Hilarious. tell me you have it. Jace looked so cute. He, he looked the so same. Cute. He had the same Okay. Face. I have never seen a baby uh-huh. that had just the same exact yeah. face yeah. his whole life. He did not change one. And day. it was a good face. So, yeah, he it's was a good so face. Cute. So what a cute, cute little baby. Yeah. Uh, he looks nothing like his father. No. no. He's old Janelle. Does he not have a middle name? I guess not. I don't know. Uh. I mean, that's a lot of work. My dad doesn't have a middle name. My mom doesn't have a middle name. But for the longest time, my dad pretended he did. So on <laughs> all of his paperwork, he has joseph t mm-hmm. what's t what's t tyrone oh do you want to hear do you want to hear tyrone? what t is because yeah. i asked him the other day because yeah. he was summoned for jury duty uh-huh and it had a t and i was like uh-huh. he just had to get it changed because it became a problem they're like this isn't your middle name <laughs> t do you know what t stands for what? he goes it stands for tony he goes I oh think, we talked about he goes this. i think it stands for tony i'm like first of all what do you mean you think he's like it's my confirmation name i said oh so your confirmation it's name anthony, was anthony saint, saint tony uh, no he's like, he's like no my, tony from the coffee goes, shop he goes no my confirmation name was tony i said no. dad your confirmation name was anthony. anthony he's like i'm telling you i think it was tony i was like i'm betting you money that it was anthony and now you just had a, you've had a t on and your he fucking just name signs the initial that's not even real wow i don't know how they've been i have a along. friend her middle name is only an initial St. Tony from Brooklyn. <laughs> that was my dad, St. Tony. Patron Saint of the Bell Parkway. <laughs> my friend, that's funny. My friend Linda, her middle name is J. It's just an, an, the initial <laughs> J because her mother's name was Jessica and her grandmother's name was Josephine and they couldn't pick one. So they just gave her the initial J. It's Linda J. Yeah. I'm I'm doing a Barney impression. Yeah, I one. have a middle name and a confirmation name and they're both Me too. So do I. Normal. Yep, Mine both same. start with an A. Same. My I, my name is Gabrielle. You know why? Your middle name is AA. Because I'm like all alcohol. I'm having a beer at dinner. Tracy, April, Teresa, Carnazzo. Yeah, that's, that's what I still. I call her that all the time. Mm-hmm. So does my. So does Jen. Jennifer Jen calls her Tracy, April. <laughs> Tracy, April, Teresa. Yeah. Your middle name is April. Yep. Yeah. My confirmation name is Teresa. I mean, could it? Have you met Tracy? It was either going to be Teresa or like Maria. You know, <laughs> mine's Veronica. I like that name. Do you know what Veronica did? Yes. I actually hate that name. She wiped Jesus' tears. She wiped his face. With the with the um the cloth. The cloth and then it had his imprint of his face. Yep. Oh the shroud of turn. It's okay. Very recently I don't know if you guys are, are Christian, Catholic or whatever that are listening. Very recent until very recently, Gabrielle thought that the Virgin Mary was also Mary Magdalene the No, hooker. the Hua? Yeah. She also thought she was like, yeah, no, Mary was like, a, I'm like, Mary was literally a virgin, a virgin, the virgin. Mary was also a hooker. I don't know. I'm not like a hundred on how I feel about the Virgin Mary being a virgin when she got pregnant. I believe that she gave birth to Jesus, but I don't know. I'm currently watching Jane the Virgin, so it could happen. Maybe she was artificially oh inseminated on an accident by I her guess gynecologist. We should go back to Janelle. Oh, now? you think that Mary was at the gynecologist <laughs> in the manger? It's right next to the manger, the gynecologist. <laughs> Just make a left. Oh my god, maybe he was one of the three kings. Anyway, uh, Andrew wants to get married. Mm-hmm. 
so they talk about that in the hospital. Right. Janelle's like, I mean, if you're not going to change, she was fairly firm with Andrew. Yeah. And I was like kind of impressed at her. She was like, but if you're not going to change, I don't want to be with you. Yeah. No, that's when she was still. She more had regular. like some marbles, even yeah. though she was like a piece of shit. She like wasn't the taking drug shit didn't get to thing. her yet. She was a piece of shit, but she wasn't stupid. Then. Yes, she was exactly. She knew exactly what she was doing. Mm-hmm. So Barney comes to see the baby, and I'll just Has show you no what reaction. he does. Tracy's just looking straight. There you go. He actually okay. said, "Bye, little guy," when he left. But, oh, I thought that was Andrew that said that. Uh, Andrew hasn't called week two. The baby's mm-hmm. been home for two weeks. No, Andrew. Uh, Janelle said that she's going to go back to school because she cannot wait to focus on her social life. She's like, uh, Jace goes into daycare. So what happens is Barb brings Jace to daycare on the way to work mm-hmm. and then picks him up on the way home from mm-hmm. work. So there's two hours where Jace is in daycare and Janelle's home from school. So she likes to party with her friends. Right. Andrew gets a DUI. Shock. Uh, let's see. What that's why happened? he disappeared for two weeks and never called. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No, so, I mean that's weeks. No, no, no. no I'm saying I'm thinking I was stuck more along the lines of Janelle just going out 24 seven. Yeah. So now Janelle doesn't want Andrew if he's gonna drink, and he gets out of jail and he drunk dials her the yes. day he gets out of jail. Yes. And she's like, I'm not interested in you. No, thank you. So now she's out with her friends and he calls her. And he doesn't like when she's out with her friends. Yeah. And he says, uh, my feelings for you have, have actually dropped. Dro- have actually dropped. Have actually dropped. They've, dro- they've plummeted. Uh-huh. They've dropped. Just like the depression. But she says hers dropped too. And she goes, well, you know what? Mine dropped too. Uh-huh. And you know what? I believe her. Oh no, me too. She was, she like was like over done. it. Mm-hmm. She was done. Yep. Uh, Babs is raising Jace by herself. Yeah. She literally just has a little family with her and Jace. Janelle pays no attention to him whatsoever. It's like, but it's that's frightening, the thing. That, that, so that's what bothers me. The shit that Janelle talks nowadays. Have you she ever had seen no your connection with Jace? Episode? Nothing. She had no connection. Yeah. She was out. She was like, I need my time. Uh huh. You raise my baby. I yeah. am not bothered. So now uh, she said I could finally focus on my sh- social life. Uh, Barb calls her. On the way home from work, she's now going to pick up Jace from daycare and bring him home and take care of him for the rest of the night because that's his real mom. Mm -hmm. She goes, Janelle, I need to make three bottles. And she's like, oh, come on. Mm -hmm. She is so annoyed. She's awful. And that's why I wish that she would go back and watch this instead of saying, my mother took Jace from me. No, no, you never even had Jace. You never had Jace. So she said, uh, Barb said, you think this kid is a dog? Yep. 100%. 100%. But now the conversation that they keep having, they keep calling Jace it. Okay. Yes. Yes. And Babs so keeps keep Babs saying, if you don't want it, we'll find someone else who wants it. We'll find a nice family for it. Why are you calling him it? I, I don't, don't know, know but, but it's weird. She was calling it it. He was calling Everyone was calling him it. Uh, and she said to her friends that she loves taking care of him, meaning Jace. Uh, she said that having a baby is like being in prison. <laughs> and Babs is basically raising Jace alone and that's the whole episode and I'll tell you what the worst part of that this what? is and now you know we watched a lot of things happen we watched a father disown his child mm-hmm. we watched a mother disown the same child yeah, that was a bleak episode we watched a lot of sad mm-hmm. sad yeah. things and the worst part was Janelle's hair <laughs> her mean, eyebrows her eyebrows everything about her, her yeah it was her eyes and her her eyebrows and her hair that was the she's worst. so much prettier now omg yeah it's like re- oh, it was man. really bad she got a little glow up yeah thank god she got some cashola she yeah needed thank it. God. she needed an upgrade Whew, she really yeah. really needed it okay we're gonna talk about chelsea's uh 16 and pregnant episode gabriel can you pull up the description from the basement yes, i can All right, I i'm gonna it. shut up the air ladies because it's getting a little nipply in here it, it is it's a, a tit nipply really. I mean, me and Noel are wrapped in blankets. Yeah, I'm really cold. Okay. Chelsea. Popular senior is caught up with her social life and fighting with her boyfriend, Adam. She thinks things will go back to normal after she gives birth, but instead learns that she can choose her daughter, that he, that he can choose her daughter above everything else. What? I mean, okay. I like, don't know. The reason why I stayed silent is because I feel like that was the description of like the first four seasons of Teen Mom with right. Chelsea. You know? She said, um, she opens up, she's like, I'm a total daddy's girl. Okay. First of all, Papa Rand yeah. was really like not so bad looking. No, I don't think right? he's bad. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't even think he's bad looking now. No, but I'm saying, especially when he was young, he's, he's like really attractive. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. Yeah. So that was like my first thought. Also, like how much better does Chelsea look without a frozen face? So much better. Honestly, chubby, cute Chelsea. Adorable. I love her. Yeah, I she think was adorable. The yeah. hair, everything about her was so cute. She was so pretty. She did her makeup. She looked so cute. Now, too skinny in the fotch. Her face doesn't move no, and doesn't she's move. orange. Yes. Okay. But she there, was also orange. There was then. a point in this. There was a she point. She was so orange that I've never seen her. And be so, so was orange. her friend. Yeah. I, so, I, I, it was uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, right off the bat, mm -hmm. Adam posts a status. Right. Like, I mean, this was like the opening scene. Right. His status was, I wish Chelsea wasn't such a whore. <laughs> and then he goes on to say something like, and didn't and, wanna, I didn't want to fuck all, all my friends. friends. Right. That is his status on Facebook. And Papa Rand is like, so maybe we should not speak to him. Right. She was never going to hear that, though. No. No. Uh, she's senior year. She's dating Adam. Mm -hmm. uh, she says that uh, Aubrey's going to go to daycare after she has him. Mm -hmm. She did not take birth control. No. No. Papa she can't take, got her I can't birth, even take But medicine. she can't take anything. But what does she that mean? Take, I don't know can't. what that meant. She can't take regular medicine. I don't know. Like, does she not remember to take it? I think or she can't swallow it? I don't know. Or she can't because she hates it. Um, I was confused. I think it's because she can't remember it. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it but is. then like get a little shoddy shot. Get I mean, little... guess what? Had a baby instead. Had a baby. Yeah, but that okay. Was a, but I have that's to a say, trap baby. But I have to say, I don't think it was a trap baby. I do. But you think it was a trap baby? Yep. I don't think she wanted to get I pregnant. Think she, oh, I think yeah, she totally I, did. Yeah, she's, really? she's obsessed with Adam. She was obsessed she with Adam. Obsessed. And she kept saying, "You said that you promised you would change when the baby came." Uh huh. Mm, yeah, maybe. she wanted she wanted something to love. But I think she in. was a good mom. She was a super she, nice mom. I think she's amazing. Mom. It doesn't discount her as a mother. I think that she's a better mom than all of the other girls were on their sixteen and pregnant episodes. You know? Yeah, no, definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, she was chubby with a lip ring. The lip ring. God, Why does know. everyone have those? That was, was I don't know. I just think point. she was adorable. Her room was barren. Yeah. Which made me feel very weird it, with the hot pink room with the zebra sheets, but that was it. There was just nothing there except for like spackled walls. Yeah, that was really weird. They must have just been doing her room. Though. Yeah. yeah, no, because, because then it, it became was, a mess. It, it became such a yeah. mess. I knew Tracy became, was going to be very upset about. Yeah, that. Yeah, but at first I was like, "Wow, this is the most minimalist zebra yes. pink bedroom I've ever seen in my life." Yeah, also matched my childhood bedroom. Okay, it was your childhood <laughs> bedroom. I felt I like I was looking at your old room, but at least your old room had stuff in right. it like I, yeah but that's right she was not she yeah. didn't fuck it up yet uh also her and papa ram were talking about uh how abortion wasn't a choice for them i noticed and he was like yeah it's not a choice for us she's like no and they were saying that adoption they could do instead so they're clearly right. very religious pro-life yes um so adam says that he basically would like to move in to take care of aubrey mm -hmm. papa ram says i don't know about moving in you can stay here once in a while but definitely not moving in right she called Braxton Hicks. Right. She called them practice contractions. Uh, no, but they called them that. That was really? hilarious. No, I've never but heard they, them. they called them They usually them call them phantom contractions. No, on, I, think, I think it was unexpected. The nurse said to Emily, practice? we call them practice contractions. Oh, I've never heard that before yeah, either. I think they call them that. I th don't quote me on it, but I think... And she's just, is she practicing? It. She's bouncing on her ball in so class. She, I wait, want to do at that first, at first she's, So now she's, she's having them in her a room. Uh, and then they're like, all right, we're going to choose an outfit for Aubrey to go home in. Oh, yeah. Let's dress the pug up in it. Hilarious. <sighs> but also, so the outfit that they picked for her to go home. Looked like it was like, for like a six months old. Right. But it also uh -huh. looked like she was going on a play date mm -hmm. and not coming home from the hospital. Right. Usually it's like a very like, like ethereal outfit. I, well, like something sparkly. I mean, or like, yeah, but she went from school to the hospital and she had the baby. What is that? What are you talking mean about? For right? the outfit. Oh, oh my God. I forgot that she had to stay at the hospital. So I was very confused. No, what no. She was about? picking out the outfit ahead of time. And she's, she's picking it on her dog. That she was going to bring Aubrey home okay. from the hospital. And, are Never you mind. okay? No, the sequence of events was wrong in my head. Yes. Okay. Continue. Sure. Okay. okay. Carry Woo! on. All righty then. Carry uh, on. She's on her sidekick that's totally bedazzled. Uh-huh. I loved it. Uh, now, there's a party. And she's going to go to the party. Adam didn't want her to go. Adam, but she could only go if Adam goes. Mm -hmm. She couldn't get in touch with Adam. She went to the party anyway. She was terrified to go. She was what? terrified. She was crew. so scared. Her friend now, with her ACL and her crutches. Chelsea's pregnant. I know, really. She's afraid to go. She goes to the party and Adam shows up at the party and he's pissed because she wasn't supposed to go to the party without him. So he leaves and then he comes back 
And then he was fine. And then he was fine. But he had to do that to her. He had to scare her. He had to get yeah. her upset. This is an abusive relationship. Yeah, that yeah but here's the thing. He, what is he, the first guy you've seen act like this? No, but you know what? It was an abusive relationship, like, right off the bat. And then when someone says, how long have you guys been together? She's like, a year and a half on and off. Mm-hmm. So basically, not a year and basically a half at all. three months. Um, while he banged other girls and you waited for him to call you. Right. So um, I meant to wear yeah. Megan's shirt. I have it. The shirt that she was wearing. I meant to wear it today. Which one was she wearing? It's um a gray shirt with like two angels uh-huh. on top. It's really a, just a nice shirt. I've never seen anybody else have it. It's like Sinful is the brand or something. Okay. And there's a cross on the back. All right. Well, you can post a picture of you in it. Okay. They're fishing over an overpass. Uh, and they were, you know, that was, that was her, her bonding. Yeah. Moment I mean, with throwing Adam. that was probably the only time Adam hung out with her in the daytime. Probably. Ever. Randy wants Chelsea to graduate high school. Right. That's not going to happen. That wasn't going to happen. That was never going to happen. No. no. Uh, so she went into labor at school five weeks early. And so she was on a yoga ball. She was on a yoga yeah, ball. Yeah, that's yes. why I got confused because she was on yeah. the bouncy she ball the in bouncy. school yeah. and then she had the baby. Yeah. Right. That's so, when she said, I'm having practice contractions. It was during that class. I right. Think. Right. Yes. But she also had them before. I oh, know, right? okay. That's why I was confused. So then in the delivery room, you see a snippet of Emily, Chelsea's sister. Uh huh. Just one little flash by. She looks just like the mom. Yeah, but she's also in the episode for a Right. Minute. But I'm just saying just Talking. for. Right. But just like at that point, you just see there must oh, have been okay. a lot of people in. Adam wants the baby to have his last name. Right. And she was like, I was so happy he asked. And this is the point where Chelsea is more orange than ever. Yes. She yes. must have gotten home from the hospital, gotten a spray tan on the way home, and then <laughs> taken the baby home. Uh, so he says that he's going to go work on his car. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, you're a stupid car. And he goes, don't call my car stupid. I don't call your baby stupid. Yeah. That no. was the dumbest that thing. Was, that was rough. So he leaves to go work on his drag race car. Um, Chelsea's home with the baby, breastfeeding. Mm-hmm. Adam does not show up to take the baby home for the no, hospital. I, mean, I didn't realize that the baby, like, I forgot Aubrey. That Aubrey was premature. Yeah. Right? So did I. Yeah, me too. I didn't even. I, she's then, such a healthy little girl now. I, yeah, she's good. And uh, then she gained weight, like, pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that she was she was fine, though. Yeah. Chelsea's breastfeeding, and she's like, hey, I don't know what to do. Like, should I? Also, why are you asking Adam? And he goes, I don't know. I don't care. So now this is the first night home with the baby mm-hmm. and she wants, he wants to go out. He wants to go to some kind of car event. Of course. And he wants her to come with her and he goes, can't your mom watch the baby? And she goes, well, it's the, the first night home with the baby. Right. Now they have to take Aubrey to the doctor. She has RSV. Mm-hmm. That's when she started looking like Aubrey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. No Adam. Of course not. That made me angry. I like how she no, picked Adam. up the phone in front of the doctor. On speakerphone. On speaker. That was really funny, though. Yeah. She's like, are you coming to the doctor? He, I just wanted to know if you're coming to the doctor's appointment. He's like, I'm not going to make it. She's like, yeah, I know because I'm here. Uh-huh. Uh, the doctor so giggled. She talks, and he calls her dumb in front of the doctor. Yeah, yeah. well, he talks to, uh, she talks to Adam and he says, she goes, what do you want from me? And he goes, I want you to not be dumb. Mm-hmm. You call me constantly and it's annoying. Adam is so abusive. Yeah, he I is. mean, but he's also every guy like everyone i know dates oh you know God, like disgusting yeah so now she's depressed over adam adam basically broke up with her do you remember i feel bad she was like really okay. sad okay yeah, i felt so sad during that yeah. scene do you remember that text that he sent her mm-hmm. he was like show me where to sign that little mistake over yeah you that was stretched marked awful. whale or whatever it yeah. was that like i feel like crying like that, that made, broke okay. my heart that made me so sad and yeah. then she called her dad and she was like please come home please come home i, I can't be in the be house alone. oh my god i felt so sad yeah that ruined it was he, awful he ruined like her happiness yeah, he did he did he's so abusive um so she went to homecoming and Papa Rans watched the baby. Right, which was sweet. And I like that she never went out, you know? She never went out. She loved no, Aubrey. She, loved she didn't want to go out. Right. She even felt guilty going to homecoming. I know. Yeah. And then she came home instead now, of going to the dance. Yeah, and also she looked really... I mean, I guess that's what happens when you have a baby when you're like 12. She bounced back from mm-hmm. that so quickly. I mean, the next day she was like jumping over Adam to get I out know. of bed. I was like, whoa, she's yeah. no joke. Uh but now the funny part is we end this episode with the craziest shit. Her changing Aubrey's Her last name. Her trying to change Aubrey's last yeah. name. And it's like we're still doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So apparently it didn't go through because we know that. Or it did from- she changed it back. She was pathetic right. enough. I guarantee you she changed it and then changed it back. I know. So now this episode we see and it's like, oh, my God, my heart is broken. Right. For Chelsea. Right. And then as 
teen mom goes on, you're like, Chelsea, now it's your fault. Right. Mm -hmm. Chelsea, this is And I got to tell you, that's where like Janelle kind of like had a little bit over Chelsea on Uh that. I don't think Janelle would have dealt with that. Hell no. No. Chelsea was going on with Adam until like season five. Until six. She she, cheated. Adam cheated on on Paisley's mom with her. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. It's like until she met Cole. Yeah. Yeah. Chelsea was, uh, Janelle was not having it though. Never. Janelle was like, oh, you want to leave and never come back? Bye. When my Janelle was dropped. done with something. <laughs> she's when done. When Janelle was done with something, yeah, she's she was done. done. Like Jace. Like yep. she was done and she's yeah. done. <laughs> she was like, I have this baby. I am, I am done. so over it. Honestly, I'll done. leave and never come back. I'm and she so didn't, over it. She didn't. She, she never came back. She never come back. Uh-huh. But the only thing that bothers me about Janelle is like, if you want to leave your kid, like own it. Right. Stop pretending that right. you want Jace back and stop pretending that you were ever Jace's mom. But that's what bothers me. Guys, she we have eyes. We saw the me. episode. <laughs> what, Gabrielle, what the hell were you just She's doing? She's trying to pick a can in the microphone like a dick. <laughs> oh. Sorry, guys. You're oh, a dick. Jesus my Christ. ADD, my ADD got to me a little bit. Noelle, tell us a little bit about the special this week. So I watched a special last night and um, it wasn't good. Right. Um... It was basically Tyler was the man on the street right. on 42nd Street uh, asking, uh, getting fan questions. And then they had like audience questions, too. It was more like, how do you co-parent? And would you get vaginal rejuvenation like Farrah? Would, would Tyler get the vaginal <laughs> yeah, rejuvenation? Yeah, that's what I, I want to know. Were they asking Tyler? Uh, Tyler was like, uh, I've already gotten vaginal rejuvenation twice. They actually all said that they <laughs> did you, would like Did you not see my it? new line of, of uh, Tierra Rain clothes? You know I got vaginal <laughs> rejuvenation. Um, And so Deb... You, I was looking at Deb, yeah, and like her face was like super smooth, and she didn't look terrible. She definitely looks a little grinchy. Mm-hmm. Her neck is wrinkly. was so bad, like so, like bands, bad. like like it looked like it was scrunched. It was like rooster neck. Okay, Ooh. so uh huh, this is so gross, and I got to tell you this. I used to watch a lot of plastic surgery shows. Uh-huh. There's like some kind of bands in your neck that keep the elasticity. And like, like it will, like this will stay tight, like this one band, and then the skin around it will sag, and it's almost like curtains that are ruched, and that's what happens to your neck. How do they fix it? Uh, I think they take those bands out, and then they like tighten your neck. Oh my god, I don't want that. I don't want the bands. Yeah, there's bands. Oh, I don't like that. I don't feel good. But I would just, if my neck looked like that, I would want it fixed though, because I feel like that, that and your hands really show age. Yes, absolutely. And um, yeah, the episode was uh, it was Gabrielle just looked at her hand like, oh, man, I'm 23. (laughs) (laughs) I actually look like I have older hands. No, you don't. No, No. you don't. You look like like regular hands. hands. Is that my mom always says like, oh, my hands look so like an old lady's hands. Is that why? Yeah. Yeah. They call it like crepe skin. Yes. Mm. Because it's like crepe paper. Yep. That's mm-hmm. why you ever see that stuff on TV that you put uh, underneath your eyes. It's called crepe erase. Oh, my God. Yes. Fake infomercial. So fun. Yes. That, that infomercial haunts my life. I love that fake infomercial. It's I, so fake. I mean, though. I love infomercials. It's so fake. though. And she's like, I put it on my dad. And it's like, stop. <laughs> this poor man is like, what am I doing today? I'm in an infomercial. <laughs> That's why I don't even speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. No one's going to see it. Right. No. <laughs> So yeah, the episode was uh, it was nothing to write home about. To be honest with you, um, what else happened? It was just more audience questions. Um, they were saying if I guess they didn't know or the contracts weren't signed about like uh, uh, Bristol coming on right. or Cheyenne coming on because they said like if Farah doesn't come back, who would you want to replace her? And they're like, well, if we had to have someone, we would want it to be someone from like 16 and pregnant. Right. So it would at least be like an OG like us. Right. We won't. We don't want a random person. Totally agree. Yeah. though. Listen, this is what's bothering me about Cheyenne. Now that I know that she's definitely on. Yeah. She wasn't a teen mom. Yeah. She wasn't even a teenager when she had her baby. She was not a teen mom. Um, And uh, the only thing she has in common with them was she was on MTV. Yeah, that's it. And, you know, you can go one way about, like, Bristol Palin being like... But she was a teen mom. No, no, but I'm saying, like, people are like, Bristol Palin, racist, homophobic. Whatever, yeah, just like everyone else on Teen Mom. But Cheyenne did crazy racist tweets. She did. Yeah. You know? So, like, why is it okay that she did it? No, I don't like it. You know? I don't like any of it. Um, Honestly... 
who is she even? <sighs> but that's what I mean. You're nobody. So she right. looks like a teenager. That doesn't mean anything. I yeah. Mean, I look like a teenager too, but, you but know. But like, I don't care. Yeah. So the special was just love. They asked uh, a little bit like about, uh, they asked Jen uh, if she has like seeked or suck or sought how out. would you put sought out any <laughs> help suck uh like have any, you suck any help <laughs> has she sought any help um because of ryan right. being an addict sure so you she know. should be in like an al anon right and she says she hasn't sought any Shocking. help and that this has been going on with ryan for about five years yes Wow. So he did a long time ago outpatient, but it didn't stick. Mm. And then the past few years, it's just been worse. I'm shocked. I'm yeah. really shocked. Guys, we have a lot of stuff coming up. We're not going to be here next week. Noelle's getting married. Yay! Uh, I'll see gonna... some of you guys there. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of winners of Noelle's wedding contest that we will see there. Uh, it's going to be great. Also, uh, I have a new podcast coming out, 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Mm. That should be within a few weeks. We will be seeing that. That's going to be awesome. Uh, guys, you could follow uh, me on Instagram and Twitter at Trixie Tuzini, and you could check out all of my show dates at TracyCarnazzo.com. Also, uh, I was on another podcast on Gas Digital Network called, uh, what was it called? This is the thing. <laughs> Oh my god! The thing is, is the that, thing is. There you go. That's, that's just, it. That's, that's my vocabulary. That's like my favorite phrase. What the thing is? The thing is. Yeah. So I was on uh, the thing is uh, with Shannon and Matt on Gas Digital. So you guys could check that out. I posted that on my Instagram, uh, or you can go and just search the thing is on Gas Digital Network. Cool. Uh, Noel uh, has a great catering business. If you guys are in the tri-state area, in anywhere close to Brooklyn, she will cater your party. She will give you your meal preps. It's called Full Belly Caterers. Well, where can we find you? You could find me on Twitter at Noe Girl or Facebook, Noelle Winters. You could also like Full Belly Catering for me on Facebook. Um, you could follow me, Noe underscore Bear810 on Instagram, or you could follow Full Belly Catering. Gabrielle, where can we find you? You could find me on Instagram, Gabrielle Nicole X, Twitter, Gab Nicole X, and Snapchat, G Nicole22. Oh, and Facebook, Gabrielle Nicole. Okay. Also, guys, if you're listening and you're using your iPhone, if you have iTunes, Please go there and give us a five star rating and an amazing review. Tell us why Please. you love us so much. Not a four star. No, if you don't like us, just message us and tell us why. Don't do that either. <laughs> just give us a five star rating. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll see you in two weeks. Yay. Bye. Bye. Bye.